Morning Otis, how are you this morning? <laughs> You've got to stop for a wee, haven't you? It's a good boy. Well, welcome along to another edition of Adventures with Otis and this morning we're back at Ogmore by Sea to continue along the Wales coast path. We're going to follow it right the way from here. And this little map just shows us going up and over past the Ogmore Castle and back down through Merthyr Mawr, which is just the other side of that Coast Guard station. And if you follow the beach, that's Merthyr Mawr. We're going to follow it right the way up to Porthcawl and beyond, eventually towards Port Talbot, Aberavon Beach, and then over to Jersey Marine. Okay, Otis, are you ready? Let's go. Well, this morning we're going to follow the River Ogmore right the way up to the castle and then cross over at the castle following the Wales Coast Path. We need to cross two rivers, the River Ogmore and also the Oweni River near Ogmore Castle. And here's a goodbye to Ogmore Beach. Yes, so we've got Coast Path sign here. Seems to take us across the main road. Right, then I'll just be crossing the main road. Be a good boy. It's a bit whiffy around here too. <laughs> right, this way it is. There we go, I was looking for the sign. Here we go. So you got the Wales Coast Path, we've got the Vale Trail, public bridle way, and public footpath. Looks like we're going straight up the hill, Otis. Looks very, <laughs> very sandy. One thing about Ogmore by sea, it is full of sand dunes. And you can see. <laughs> That's a good boy. You can have a little bit of a zoomy in the sand. One, two, three, let's go! That wasn't much. <laughs> you have a little zoomy. Go on then, off you go. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, let's carry on up the hill, Otis. Bring your lead. Good boy. Oh, a little bit of freedom for him. <laughs> it's a good boy. Up this way. <laughs> Otis, up this way. Good boy. Oh, here we are. Here we are, Wales Coast Path, and some sheep. Otis, come here. Plenty of sheep up on the fields and the hills here. So this is where the two rivers join. It's the main Ogmore River, which travels right the way down and out to sea. Well, I'm keeping you on your lead anyway, there are plenty of sheep droppings here, which means there's plenty of sheep. This is the sign we're looking for, bringing us out directly opposite the castle. Oh wow, we won't be crossing the stepping stones at the castle, Otis, because it looks like even the car park is flooded out. Okay, let's follow the signs. Perhaps that's why they've changed the route. Keep you high and dry. And this brings us down to the Ogmore Road, which I think is the B5424. And that's the sign we're looking for. Okay, I think we're following northwards. And it's a cheerio to Ogmore Village. And onward to Merthyr Mawr. I'd like to just give a quick shout out to uh, 
Fly Drive Explore. Hi Marcus and <coughs> Melissa. Yeah, we just bumped into Marcus, literally, well Otis did anyway. Lovely to meet you and uh, looking forward to watching your cruise video when we go home. And looks like it crosses the road here again. Okay, wait though, this wait. This way, cross. Oh boy. Move towards the bus stop. Oh wow, there's a quite an ornate coastal path sign here to Merthyr Mower. This is where we need to go. Hooray! It's a good boy. Okay, Otis. The path we're on here hopefully should lead us to the first of the bridges. First one crosses the Aweni River and uh, then we've got to follow across a big field where we cross the Ogmore River. And if you're heading from sort of Port Talbot way down to uh, Ogmore by Sea, this is actually the only crossing that you can make over the two rivers. And here is the first of the two footbridges. So this is looking upstream up the river Oweni and this is looking downstream towards uh, Ogmore and you just about make it Ogmore Castle there in the distance. Okay Otis, down the steps. Ah, there are horses here Otis, I'm afraid you're staying on your lead, good boy. Well, this walk's about 12 to 15 miles, I haven't worked it out exactly, but uh, it's going to be afternoon, I think, by the time we get to Aberavon Beach. Well, the uh, crossing here at the River Ogmore looks very ornate, looks almost like um, a mini suspension bridge. Indeed it is. Wow. Okay, Otis, let's go across. Wow, it's a very smart bridge. A little bit smaller than the Seven Bridge that we went across the other day though, Otis. Oh, I think he's just eager to get the other side. <laughs> it's a very bouncy bridge, this one. Well, well, Oates and I are still traipsing through the dunes, <laughs> not the sand dunes of Ogmore anymore, but we're actually at Merthyr Mower and we're heading towards the beach, I hope. I think we took a small detour back there and ended up uh, um, off the country or off the coastal path. So uh, the pair of us are now searching. <laughs> For sanity! <laughs> Help! We're lost! Looking for a coast path sign. <sighs> but I can hear the sea lapping, so we must be getting near. I think we walked too far into the sand dunes, actually. <laughs> we did. Hooray! Here we are, overlooking the sea once again. With all more by sea in the distance, on the other side of the bay. We're here again, Otis. We're by the sea. All we want now is a coast path sign. I think this is Trekko Bay. We've, uh, well, we're coming up to Trekko Bay next. Uh, I'm guessing this must be the start of Newton Beach. Well, I do spy lots of people. And I also spy the South Wales coast path sign. Okay, Otis, we're back on the path, Wales Coast Path.
Look at this, we're just coming up to Newton Beach Car Park, which means we're getting nearer our goal of Porth Goal. Ah, I just need to find out which way the path actually goes. Oh, hang on, I can see a sticker on the other side of this post. <laughs> okay, down here we go, Otis, and I guess we'll follow the coast to the left and pass by all the caravans of Treckle Bay Holiday Park. But first, we need to get out to the car park. There we go. There we go. Newton Beach. Check a bay beach ahead of us. If we head down to the beach, we'll take a lead off. Come on. This way. Good boy. Let's see there's lots of other dogs around without their leads on. Okay, you ready? Come here. It's a good boy. Now this is one of the only beaches that dogs are permitted on all year round. And it's right in front of Treckle Bay. There's somebody called Rio who's left their mark. Which is funny because that's the make of our camper van. Okay, we'll just... Come on, let's go. <laughs> there you are, Otis. This way. <whistles> Otis, come on. Good boy. And just up there in the distance you can see the old Treckle Bay Issues Lookout Station. And up ahead of us is the new bright yellow lifeguard station. There we are up on the hill. And we'll be heading up that way. Coyotes. <laughs> oh, he's, he's out for the long haul, this one. Oh, oh he is. He's... Half cocker spaniel and half collie, so he's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, I got, you know, I got to let off the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have their run. <laughs> oh, he is. He's doing it. Go on, this Good boy. And we're walking at the top of the hill here because it's a not a dog-friendly beach down there on Cooney Beach, also known as Sandy Beach. Fella, I need to put your lead back on, I'm sorry. Because there you go. We're getting close to a main road. A good boy. There we go. Come in, this way. Hooray! Wales Coast Path signs again. Up up. Come on. Up and up. Good boy. This way. Okay, Otis, we'll walk the wall and head towards Porthcore Marina, I think, is next stop. And I'm still waiting for this ice cream. Yes. 
And then just coming up on our left now is the Porthcawl Marina. Oh, once upon a time I was thinking of keeping my boat here, but the thing is, it only operates three hours either side of high water, and that's between seven o'clock and ten o'clock. So it's a little bit difficult keeping your boat here and being able to come down, maintain it, and take it out for a run whenever you like. But if you would like to keep your boat here, just contact them on uh, Channel 80 as you're sailing by and see if they're going to let you come in. Because you can stop uh, an overnight here. Well, the Ogbog coast looks so far away now in the distance. So does Cooney Beach, saying that. Oh well, okay, on to Porthcourt Promenade. And all this here, I think, is new. Last time I came here, it was. It was just a building site. There we go. Oh, uh, what to say? One and a quarter miles to Rest Bay. Yep, that's the way we're going. Come on then, Otis. This way. Oh, okay. Looks like we're taking the lower promenade then, Otis. Well, all I will say is this place is super clean, super tidy. I haven't seen any rubbish on the floor. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Come on, fella. Well, I think it's time for an ice cream. I think we'll have to stop by Booth's. What do you think, Otis? Well, I think this statue up ahead of us must be the Mother Sea statue, which is a stone carving of a mermaid figure. We just about make that out there. It's, she's curled into a circle to resent the circle or the cycle of life. Okay, let's have a look where we've been and where we're going, Otis. So, we started at Ogmore, we went over the two rivers, down through, well, we should have gone through Merthyn Mower, but we cut across country a little bit. And uh, we finally came past Treco Bay, we sort of cut around Cooney Beach and we're now here at the Statue of the Mermaid. And then we go ahead past Rest Bay and Skew Point and Pink Bay and we'll follow the nature reserve then right up to Port Albert. Well I'm guessing we're probably coming to about halfway through this walk or thereabouts. Uh, so if you're enjoying the video please click that like button and don't forget please subscribe. And all in all, please leave those comments. We love to look through your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing it. It doesn't cost anything, and it does help our YouTube statistics. And this is known as Rest Bay. Surfers, a surfer's paradise. Absolutely. And oh, it's going down the steep way, I think. Where are you off, little man? That's a difficult way to go down. Isn't there an easier way? Okay. Hope just thinks this is easy. Straight down the cliff face. <laughs> okay, little fella. Right. Oh, I think I need to put your lead on the Otis because we're coming up to lots and lots of people give me it that's a good boy good boy ah, there we go this is where we were meant to be so this is the actual Wales coast path we uh, detoured from it there we go that's the boy this way with this good Well, this place is really a paradise for all sorts of water sports. Uh, we've come from the town centre direction and now we're heading over towards uh, Skirb Point, I think, or Skirb Bay. And then on to Pink Bay. But first, we go past the life station.
Well, Rest Bay boasts a fantastic Rolpoth Call Golf Club and also an amazing sports sort of venue for water sports, including a fantastic car park and look at this beautiful scenery. Okay, with this. And this is where we leave Rest Bay. <laughs> Come on, this way it is. Come on, boy. And on to Skur Head we go, or Skur Bay we go, I should say. <laughs> well, lots of pals around, Otis. Literally hundreds of dogs along here. It looks like a big fire being set up on Skur Beach, which apparently is dog friendly. Good boy. This way. <laughs> what are you doing? What's that about? You funny dog. Come on. <laughs> You've got some odd fetishes at the moment, Otis. Bless you. Well, that's the end of the school beach. We've got to climb back up, Otis. That's a driftwood. The pebbles of all kinds of shapes and sizes and colours. Back on the boardwalk. Right, Otis. Wait for me, put this lead back on. Lots of people up ahead. Otis, stop. Otis, stop. That's a good boy. So this marks the uh, end of the golf club, but also marks the start of Pink Beach, which is the next little bay. I think we got the gate just ahead. Handy little porter cabin there for the life saves of Pink Beach. Well, we're now coming up to uh, Kenvik Sands. We've got to head over towards that house, apparently, across country and head towards Port Talbot. And Rest Bay just seems such a long way away now that I can't even make out both call. There we go. Look here it is. Onwards and westwards. Well, we've left the shores behind. We've walked in land about a mile now, which is, well, it's certainly a long way from the coast. And this is because you can't uh, walk along Margam beach so we've left Pink Bay behind and we've been following this footpath for blooming miles <laughs> a little bit earlier I, I did have um, Port, Port Albert Steelworks in sight 
but I've lost sight of that as well now. So I'm hoping we're going the right way. Who just thinks we are? Oh, there's a gig coming up. And that's the day. It's moving along. So the sun is getting hotter. So I'm quite glad actually that we're in the shade. Oh, I can see the smoke of Port Talbot still works again. Up ahead. I guess if you have to cross this road and follow the fields on down bypassing the steelworks. Oh wait there Otis. So we're on a road. Otis, come here. No, come here. Very empty road. I can see a railway track up that way, but the coast path sign here is pointing away from Tata Steel and towards the railway line. Come on then, Otis. I do remember seeing um, the coast path actually crossing the railway line. Perhaps it's here. Are you okay, little fella? A good boy. This is Owen's trailer yard. Don't see any footpath signs or coast path signs at that. Even though we're a good mile and a half inland now, well, that way takes us to private property. Oh, it must be. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay, so here's the coast path sign. We are going the right way. Hey, Otis. Good boy. Yes, this is definitely where we need to cross, Otis. I think we need to wait for this train to move out of the way first. Yes, you stay this side of the gate. That's a good boy. Lots of pretty graffiti on the side of these trucks. I can see people walking in the other direction. Looks like there are many, many sidings here. Wow, there's a lot of weight in these wagons. Well, I've started counting. I got past 32 when I lost count because I was looking at the seagulls up above. But I believe we've got about four wagons left to roll. And then we can cross. Okay, little fella. Well, this looks like the last of them. Okay, Otis. Let you through. A good boy. I think that's the last of them. Okay, let's cross. Hi there. That was sure a long train. Right, slowly, Otis. There are lots of trucks going on here. Fortunately, they're not speeding. We carry on now. I think we can go with this one. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. I've never crossed so many railway lines. This way, Otis. Can't stop for a piece here. Yeah? Oh, oh dear. The guy's let his brakes off. There we go. Feel that pressure and he's off. There we go. Well, it's all exciting stuff, Otis. Now, slow down. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears peeled. I think this is the last one. Well, that was exciting. 
This is Tartar Steel Shunting Yard and <laughs> it is definitely the Wells Coast Path in the middle of Port Talbot's industrial area. Right, wait there, one more, one more track. This one looks like a main line. Gee whiz, okay. This is never the main line to Swansea. Good gosh. Good boy. Wow. This way, Uti. Come on. So you just go to this gap here. Just about make out the whole of Tartar Steelworks there. So I think we've got to follow this road down until it joins the main A48. Okay. Oh, once again, we've not seen Wales Coast Path sign in probably a mile, maybe half a mile, but. Yeah, certainly a long time, and we're almost up to the, uh, well we are, we're just coming up to the A48. Link to the M4. This can't be right. Is this right, Otis? Otis thinks so. Okay, I can see a sign. Wow. Right in the middle of the blooming roundabout. <laughs> oh, fancy that. Wait there, Otis. Wait there. Well, there it is, right in the middle of the roundabout. Wow, did you expect to see it there? Come on. Good boy. That's good boy. Come on, on the side of the pavement, away from the busy road. Okay, so we've got another signpost coming out. The Wales Coast Path. Now, this is one of those ones that shows the red alternative sign, isn't it? We don't want to go up and over the mountain like Ali did the other day with her dogs. We're gonna stay on the flat and head this way. Okay Otis, let's go. Well, we're still alongside the A48. It's getting a little bit monotonous now. We should have been walking on the other side. We just walked on the grass bank to save. So that's where we should have come from, but we're heading this way. Homewards to Everavon. Come on, Otis. You're leaving your mark. Good boy. At least there are plenty of signs along this stretch anyway, because back there, it was minimalist. It really was. There we go. Route 4. And we're on the Wales Coast Path as well. Okay, we cross here, Otis. Oh, now I'm a bit confused. Because this one shows going this direction, and this one shows going this direction. Okay. But it won't be that way because that takes us over to Talbot Block where the cement works are and builders merged. So it must be this way, Otis. And this is the Vale of Port Talbot. Otis is still going strong. I'm starting to wilt a bit. He's had plenty of water breaks. Wish I bought a hip flask with rum or something in. <laughs> hey ho, we'll continue on our way. Have a run. Here we come. The lock dates here. 
of Riverside. It's a good boy. Walk on the grass for a little bit, don't just save your paws getting hot with the tarmac. And just over on the left here we got the Riverside Boat Club. And the river is dry at the moment because it's low tide. Craig's I think we set off at high tide and it's now low tide. But I thought this was the Riverside Boat Club, it's actually the Affen Boat Club. There we go. Live and learn. Oh, there's just some little thing there about the clubs. The yeah, Riverside and Afon Club. Well, Afon, I think, is Welsh for river. So <laughs> perhaps it's just the Welsh for a Riverside Club. Maybe. Maybe he's I, maybe he's not. Who knows? Leave the comments. Leave some <laughs> words in the comments. Let me put my teeth back in. I think the brain's a little bit exhausted after all this sunlight. <laughs> Another old relic from the, the old riverside. Come on, Otis, this way. Lots of little doggies barking at you this morning, Otis. Wow, look at this view. Wow. This is what we've been waiting for, Otis. The view of Aberavon Beach and across to Swansea. So this is all Aberavon Beach. It is miles long, just like Swansea, really. It looks as if they almost merge into one, except for the river neath parts the two. And if I scan across, right away to Mumbles in the background and there we go is what we're looking for this way Otis come on hey Otis it's a shame it's in the bay not live on this beach either unfortunately no sorry boy this way And Swansea's looking amazing just over the way. Yep, we're still on the right path. Oh, look at that surf coming in. Large ship there as well, looks like a dredger heading into uh, Port Talbot Dock. Okay, with this. Let's carry on. Sorry Otis, you still can't go down there. No, not after September. Sorry lad. Well, apparently this is the largest piece of artwork in Wales, dominate the skyline. And it's known as the Kite Tail. 42 foot high, and it weighs 17 tonne. Well, wow. it was presented here uh, to Arthur Avon's rain-swept seafront in December 2009. It looks like Abram's lifeboat and Coast Guard and police are all in the same area. And coming up now, here's the famous Franco's, the best fish bar in Aber Aberavon. This way, this. Come on. Here we go. We're going to head over, get some fish and chips at Franco's. We'll have a little break before walking through the estate over to find the Wales Coast Path on the other side. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Did you enjoy your fish and chips? Come on then, let's go. The final leg of the coast walk today. Wait. 
here at this cross. This way we just there we go. There we are, Britain Ferry Bridge. Just two miles. Oh yeah, no, just good boy. And just up ahead of us we have the large tower that was designed by Brunel and this houses the Armstrong's hydraulic accumulator which is now almost 200 years old and a good plaque there to commemorate William George Armstrong and his design of the accumulator fantastic it's all good stuff Otis well we're gonna walk over to what was one of Brunel's docks now overlooking the river Neath, directly opposite Jersey Marine to sign off for the day. So if you enjoyed the video, please click that like button. Don't forget, please subscribe. Furthermore, please leave those comments. We really look forward to hearing from you and uh, finding out what you think of our recordings and videos and blogs and vlogs and all the rest of it. Anyway, I'm going to sit here, take in the views of the Docklands and say cheerio from me and a cheerio from Otis. Bye.